The Quantum Doctor, a physicist's guide to health and healing. Dr. Amit Goswami. Quantum objects are waves of possibility. When we are not looking, they spread as water waves do when you throw a pebble in a pond. But a quantum wave spreads, not in space-time, but in the realm of possibility, a realm that Heisenberg called potentia. When we look, make a measurement, the wave of possibility collapses. What was spread out before, in possibility, becomes localized in actuality as a space-time event. What was many-faceted, in potentia, takes on one manifest facet. A quantum object expands as a wave of possibility when nobody looks. This movement is continuous and is determined by quantum math. When we look, the possibility wave discontinuously collapses. This discontinuous movement is acausal and is not determinable by mathematics or algorithms. The Danish physicist Niels Bohr gave us a picture of discontinuous movement that makes the concept crystal clear. Everybody knows that electrons go around the atomic nucleus in orbits, much like the planets going around the Sun. That is continuous movement. But when an electron jumps from one atomic orbit to another, said Niels Bohr, the jump is discontinuous. The electron never goes through the intervening space. It disappears from one orbit and reappears in the other. Following Niels Bohr, we call this discontinuous movement a quantum leap. A quantum leap as envisioned by Niels Bohr. According to Bohr, when electrons jump from one atomic orbit to another, they never go through the intervening space. The mathematician John van Neumann, 1955, further clarified the role of continuous and discontinuous motion in quantum physics. Quantum objects are described as superpositions of possible facets or possibility waves. The possibility waves, von Neumann noted, develop in time in two clearly delineated ways. Between observations or measurements, their motion is continuous. They spread as waves in the domain of possibility, continuously, in causally traceable bits. But when we observe them in the process of quantum measurement, the possibility waves collapse discontinuously, from spread out wave to localized particle, from a multifaceted object to one facet, all in one spontaneous, a causal step. Learn more about our exciting educational programs at quantumuniversity.com.